Destiny is something that's been around for fucking years, bro. This nigga's everywhere. There's not a single sphere that he hasn't covered in some capacity, and he's best known for his ability to debate just about anyone off the cuff or on the file fly. Form twenty five fifty three to have your LLC taxes and S corp. So it's pretty similar in terms of like the filing. What grant. kind of form do you file? What kind of form are you filing there, buddy? Because for my I business taxes, really I file I, I file an eleven twenty S. Yeah. What do you file? Okay. Okay. Yeah, I file an eleven twenty. I'm sure you do. I'm sure you do. You know that eleven twenty is real. I just made that up, right? <laughs> No, literally, I have my fucking tax really? documents here. It is the 1120. Is it really? Oh, okay. All right. Um, Just stand if you fall for it. All right. Good job. He's been seen with almost any and everyone that you can think of. Lauren Southern, Count Dankula, Jesse Lee Peterson. Would you want your woman to abort your child? If she really wanted to. You would be okay with that? I, I mean, it's her decision. It's her body, right? Amazing. Are you a beta male? I don't think so. Beta. Sneeko, Fresh and Fit, Ava, Jidon, Low Tier God for, I, I don't know why he's around Low Tier God, but you get the point. I've personally been watching this nigga since the IBS days where he would debate like three of these retards at once. Did somebody say earlier he didn't have a, a Benz? What? He has a Mercedes. Uh, why are you acting did they so? Make, did, they make, did they make more than one kind of car? Is that the only thing that they make? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you know that a Mercedes Benz is like... Uh. The do you know no. no. <laughs> destiny yes or no does mercedes make more than a benz steve what else do they make tonka trucks do mercedes make more than a benz steve? tonka are trucks what else do they make i asked you a question steve. i'm asking you tonka trucks tell me you ask a Answer. lot of questions tonka you have never answered a question the Can brand is it? called mercedes benz tonka trucks what, what do you want me to say Ever since he's gotten more and more popular, the opinion on him has been fluctuating more than some horned up white girl at a college party. Some debates he's one way, then other debates he's another. I don't, I don't know, know if it's, it's due, due to him being, being able, able to, to fully articulate his point so often that he can constantly be on a fucking fence and be a fucking just just the most fence riding idiot I've ever seen in my life. Life, 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 life. It is sort of veers into the realms of moral grifting at some points. In a debate, he got on Sneeko about having multiple wives while he himself is in an open relationship, which is fine for Tyrone. You. Like if you've got a red pill guy that like insists that he needs to be open on his end and closed on the woman's end and the woman can't even go out or have a male friend, I would consider that guy less masculine than an actual cuckold that like sits by and watches his woman get fucked. Because one of these people is confident, they know what they want, they get exactly what they want and they're comfortable with the arrangement. And the other guy is so insecure, he thinks that if his woman looks at another person, that she's gonna leave him for another guy. So I mean like at the end of the day, it's all a matter of perspective. If you think that like being the most masculine is being like the <laughs> Yo, bitch ass up, nigga. But that's whatever. Most people who actually are more argumentative or can debate very well can sometimes go into the realm of over superiority and Destiny is indeed guilty of such a thing as well. Depending on the person he's talking to or going up against, so straight up talk down to or just straight up dismiss some of the things that they're saying just in the pursuit of being right. You'll see it if you actually stop to listen, but a lot of his debates are of him being, you know, on the offensive for the majority of the fucking talk. But if he's ever on the opposite end, He'll speed up how he talks to sort of circle it back around to him being the primary talker again. It's fucking annoying. It's just, it's a, it's frustrating. But this is all auxiliary fluff, really just to connect home a few points on what I've noticed on how to actually beat him in a debate. It's pretty, it's, it's not that hard. It's pretty simple. Majority of the time, he's in debates with people who are either out of their everlasting fucking mind and can be coined as unhinged or crazy people, or people who are just straight up stupid and really don't know how to do anything else but over talk people and hold a singular point until it reaches some level of meaning if any at all like i'm pretty sure like most of the times they're just talking out of their ass or there's the rare case of somebody being spastic which is my personal favorite mm -hmm. can you define grooming though no i actually don't want to talk about like stuff related to pedophile stuff around you okay, hold on okay. oh my god 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 wait 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 this guy can't even define grooming wait 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 wait, 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 wait. no 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 oh, hold on god. i can't define it okay no, 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 no. dude he's memorized no, everybody no everybody. this is what i've memorized dude no no wait wait please please stop no please i memorize this okay let me just tell you okay wait 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 hold on hold on wait 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 Let's wait, let's wait, let's wait okay. for destiny. <laughs> Step one, never immediately answer destiny if you feel like you're correct. Take a deep breath and let this loon ramble on for a bit to throw him off his fucking flow and let his spastic speed just slow down a little bit. You can see this tactic being used multiple times over by people who actually know how to debate. I don't know if there's a term for it, but it usually works. Step two, never get emotional before destiny does in any capacity ever 
at all. Seeing how most of these things take place on live stream in front of a bunch of fucking Redditors, his sycophantic audience will use that opportunity to boost his morale or gas his head up a bit, making fun of you for even the, the smallest, slightest little jab. Even if it's the most minute, innocuous, the most who cares about it fucking insult at all, it still fucking counts. Don't even do it. And number three, if he ever generalizes or encloses you into a hive mind or group mentality type of thing, never confirm nor deny, ever. That gives him leverage for the rest of the debate, just based off the usual pejorative terms associated with whatever the fuck you or he wants. As long as you follow these three things and you're not being some spur with some type of autism problem, you should coast right through most of the debates you have with him, like no problem at all. There's not very many times you see Destiny getting flustered, especially in recent years, but it has happened a couple of times. Maybe that was due to him being younger and not being consistently grounded in most of the shit that he believed back in the day. But when it happens, you'll see a completely different tone than what he usually has. Usually Destiny's got some fucking stupid game on in the background that nobody cares about, but him and like fucking R slash Woosh or some shit, who cares? But when he's starting to go at it, he all taps that shit almost immediately. Here's a highlight of my personal favorite bending over of Destiny. Hope Hello. you enjoy. Hey, what's up, buddy? Hey, how's it going? Pretty good. You're okay. A couple of things. I, cause I'm not informed on all this shit. Are you, you're a Gamer Gator dude? You were the big Gamer Gator guy in the beginning. Somebody told me that. Yeah, I haven't been in Gamergate since November 2014. So it's been like two years. To establish this at the very beginning, are you somebody that adamantly supports Trump or are you indifferent to Trump and you hate Hillary? Uh, I, I didn't vote for him because I disagree with certain planks in his, in his, platform i guess the certain policies that he has certain outlooks on uh security and freedom of speech so that's kind of why i didn't vote for him but i do like him he's a likable gentleman <laughs> it's, it's good it's, anything can rub somebody wrong yeah sure if he'd said it the reverse would you have liked it better if he had said we need better border security we need more resources we need to allocate we need to get a handle on this illegal immigration problem because mexico's they're sending us good people but there there's some bad eggs in there would you have liked the reverse better? I mean, it's a, he's still talking about doing the same thing, isn't he? I, no, not at all. I, I guess maybe, I don't know, maybe you're not like a big fan of like the English language. I don't understand. Like You're reading in, you're interpreting his... his I'm not interpreting anything. I don't have to interpret anything yes, he you says. Did. You I just can go said earlier when we started this conversation that, oh, well, you know, you talked about Trump and white nationalism. I asked you, has he ever come out with a white nationalist statement? You said, no, but... No, no, I said I wasn't a fan of white nationalism, that a lot of the shit that he said is bigoted against other yeah, races, yeah, and that that statement reverberates yeah. with white nationalist people. And so that's your main issue with him. Is there yeah. anything else, I, I guess, that you dislike about him as a candidate? Um, I think he's pretty bigoted. I think that you could make an argument for pretty racially charged things that he's said and done. I don't think that he represents what America is supposed to represent in terms of accepting people and being a melting pot and all that shit. I'm not a big fan of, like, the white nationalism, whatever fucking shit that goes on. But I, right, I, I, so I think that it, might be a, a sub point to that. But go ahead. Do you think it's admirable to speak your mind if everything on your mind is fucking stupid? Do you think that's an admirable trait? Is everything on his mind fucking stupid? I'm not a telepath. I don't know. Everything that I've heard him say is pretty dumb. Yeah. I mean, well, I'm not, not a telepath. About everything that he said, you just said everything on his mind. So can, are you are you certain everything this man thinks is stupid? Sounds like he has like an excuse there to defend the lobbyist. But I mean, like you, you, I mean, I guess like looking at it from a neutral third party, you could see how that kind of sounds kind of bad for a guy that promised that he was removing lobbying from Washington, that now he has an excuse for why he's working with a bunch of lobbyists. I understand what you're saying, but like, to, to point, I'm sure that you didn't like Bernie Sanders, but we can agree that Bernie Sanders was also somebody who was big against lobbying. Do you think that as much as he pushed that point, do you think that if on Bernie's transition team, do you think that you would find lobbyists from all of these companies? I don't know. He's on like summer home number four. You might have found about 20 or 30 lobbyists on his transition team, to be honest with you. Because he has a couple, because he has a couple summer homes? Yeah, because he has a lot of summer homes and Audis. Yeah, yeah. And because Audis I, too? Yeah, 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 he does. I'm pretty sure he released his taxes and his like his net worth was like a pretty modest sum. I don't think it was anything extreme. What, what, also, was, the modest sum? what was the modest sum that he had as a net worth? Was it even a million dollars? Was it $450,000? That sounds like some, some figure around in there is about what I heard. Also, I don't know well, why you would need a lobbyist to buy an Audi. I, I don't know. That's just how he rolls. Yeah, but what is See, that? That's a, it's a play on words there. You get it? He, that's just how he rolls. We're talking about cars. Okay. So I, I guess all I'm trying to say is that Trump has said a couple of things that I agree with, like fundamentally. Again, whether you hate him or like him or not, and there are very legitimate arguments for why you would hate all of his policies, and I totally accept that, that, Amer that uh, Americans are losing jobs to illegal immigrants. You said I'm in the right. I don't know, I, 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 but people, people that generally, people that generally supported Trump 
generally make this assertion that illegal and i'm pretty sure that trump has made this assertion i mean like yeah i don't want i don't want guy i don't want anybody having to work those shitty jobs if they do that sucks but i don't want anybody to i guess aspire to hate their job i think that people are individuals and i think that people have their own aspirations and dreams and yes there might be factors that help to shape those but i don't think that people are so weak-willed that they need outside influences to come in and say well you're too fucking stupid to want to go into the tech industry you're just a dumb woman this is a super so condescending we, argument that is so fucking ignorant i can't even believe you would say it this is like the ultimate condescending argument from somebody that's never ever been in a shitty position in their entire life like i can't even you believe really don't that know somebody, who the fuck you're talking i don't you can't you can't either that or you lack zero empathy or have zero intelligence like how can you I speak to an entire group of people that have been fucked financially that have been like you go it's so insane that somebody would say that with no self-awareness at all like oh am i am i too privileged on this point is that what you're saying sure maybe i don't know like i guess i like i don't know no it's not insane to treat them like they're not fucking retarded and that they need to be babied because if you don't tell them to have a better life or that there's an opportunity for one they'd never come to that conclusion that's ludicrous but they don't dude a lot yes, of people do. don't people if they don't see position shitty situation because of one person did it but that's not how endless loop of stupidity they're going to work shitty jobs they hate because they never are ever going to look at anything else so you it, think that black people savior complex so that it's not a white telling yes it is like I don't, I don't know how else to say that. Not everybody is capable of doing those things. Not everybody even knows that they have the and capability. When we talk about who's not capable of doing it, you're saying blacks aren't and women aren't. Yeah, you've seen white guys in politics and sports, in uh, fucking any kind of economic position, in any kind of fucking technology position, in any kind of fucking business position. You don't have to even stop and wonder for one moment in your life. You've never ever in your life stopped and thought, should a white guy be doing that? Are people going to look down at me? You've never how had many, that thought in your head many, ever. How many, people, how many white guys are in the NBA? I don't know, less than black dudes, but they're still there. But, but maybe if there's equal representation, uh, I'd feel more inclined to try to get in the NBA, right? <laughs> so, I mean, should we remove some black people and put white people in positions? What about the NFL? How many? You, you think it's more black or white? Uh, probably more black, I would guess. So, I mean, should and what about? I mean, shit. Do we need women in the NFL and NBA? Probably not, because now you're getting into athletics where there are, are hardcore physical differences, and you probably wouldn't want to push that. Yeah, but weren't you just saying earlier you want women to get drafted? You want to see affirmative action pushed across every single field? I'm totally fine with that. I think that women should be involved in the draft as well in combat roles. Uh, yeah, I have no problem with any of that. I, I think women involved in the draft is fucking suicidal. And and serve in the exact same equal capacity as men in every single size, shape, and form. No, I'm I'm not that retarded. Okay. All right. I'm just, just following this. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. I didn't really know how to end this video. I did have a little bit more written down, but I'm going to save all of that for another video when I start to do a little bit of a, of a, when I do more of a rundown on people who are also in like the debate sphere and stuff like that. And coincidentally, most of the people that I'm going to be talking about are going to be people that Destiny have also been around in some type of way, shape or form. Most of the people who actually do debate and stuff like that, they're not actually as good as Destiny, like I said earlier in the video. A lot of them are fucking just, just either unhinged or stupid, like I told you before. So when I try to do the next video where I talk about people that also debate, I'm going to kind of categorize them and put them into like a tier list and tell you which ones I think are actually good at what they do and which ones are just kind of just, um, just trying to over talk people or try to say something that's kind of like a gotcha moment. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video, and as always, the earth is just now.